Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Listen, man, this computer, this I buy power that I customly ordered, and all the components are custom, even the case and the Gorilla Glass. This is not something that you can like purchase uh, pre-built. This is something that I customized. Uh, and uh, let me tell you, man, this computer just runs everything super, super fast. The loading time is ridiculous. Uh, native 4K ultra settings and DirectX 12 here, even here on the Borderlands. I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculously fast. Uh, I really don't have any kind of like negative things to say about this computer. It's, it's super, super fast, runs great. Uh, perfect. And, uh, well, the thing is, the thing is, I didn't just create this computer for gaming. Yes, I do want it to have a good gaming computer too, but I also wanted this computer to be capable of doing other things as well, to be able to multitask, to be able to upgrade. Uh, and I wanted the case to be a certain way so that I can update, I can upgrade this computer as a future proof in the future. Uh, it's not like I need any more PCs. I already have two PCs in this, including this one. That's three PCs plus the Alienware laptop. But I felt like I needed something super fast. Okay. I mean, I do have ninth generation i7 9700K uh, uh, 3.6 gigahertz uh, processor, which is a ninth generation, the fastest of the ninth generation i7 processor. And it's perfect for gaming. So I put that processor so I can have balance of gaming. And I also put an extra uh, high bandwidth memory uh, RAM so I can have that extra uh, multitask performance as well. But the reason, the one thing that's going to really help me with this computer for the multitasking, it's the solid state drive. I did, I did some research and I got myself the most expensive Samsung solid state drive, SSD drive. And this thing, it's it's the fastest there is. Uh, and let me tell you, the loading time on this sucker, it's like, check this out. Here, let, let's let's uh, let's quit the game. Let's go to the main menu and then, uh, hold on. Look how quick that is. And then let me go ahead, let's play. Let's continue. Look, 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 look how long it takes. Check this out. Let's count. One, two, three, four five five seconds look at that five seconds and we're good to go dude and this is native 4k everything set to uh maximum 60 fps okay and uh same thing goes with the um the game that i uh tried what was it uh control control i was running 60 fps with ultra settings with real-time ray tracing set to high Check that out. Set to high with a real time ray tracing. Set to high. Pure insanity. So you see, it's not just your GPU, guys. What I'm trying to say here, it's not just, oh, well, let's me have a powerful GPU. You have to look at all the other components. You got to look at your motherboard. Can, can your motherboard handle that GPU? That's the question you got to ask. Okay, you want to buy a 2080 Ti? Well, you're going to have to figure out. What type of motherboard are you going to have? Is your motherboard going to be able to run that 2080 Ti properly on that PCI slot? Uh, and then you got to look at the uh, the power supply. What type of power supply are you going to have? Then you got to look at your cooling. I'm using a thermal cooling, uh, which helps it keep it quiet, helps it, helps it keep it more cooler. Also, the design of your PC, and Jay-Z Two Cents talked about this, okay? I took something away from him, too. He talked about the case, you know. That's why it's important to have a really good case, all glass in. This is all glass, Gorilla Glass, and it has extra room for this uh, heat to go out and keep the cool air in. So, you have to think about all of these elements. You got to think about the memory. So, you can't just simply... Uh, have some half-assed motherboard, half-assed power, and half-assed case, and half-assed, uh, you know, uh, power supply, and then put 2080 Ti in there. 
it'll be a bottleneck. You gotta have all these comp components put together in order for it to work. Uh, so let's exit. Let's exit this and uh, uh, let's quit the desktop and uh, let me go. Uh, it's still downloading. Uh, let me go hit uh, the control and you'll see how quickly control loads up. Let me go hit the control. By the way, this is a BenQ. This is a uh, BenQ 32 inch vertical alignment VA panel that I'm using. And uh, you'll see how quickly this is going to load, man. It doesn't even take that long. There it is. Sorry about my camera. My camera sometimes depicts too much light. And the light affects the lens. And that's why you see so much bleeding light brightness coming on the screen. That's because of the lens. Uh, that's why I always tell people you can judge a quality of a television or quality of a monitor by looking through a camera lens. Okay. You'll see how quickly this loads. Here, let me show you just quickly how quickly this shit loads. It loads super, super quick, super, super fast. Uh, and this is all ultra settings, native 4K. And look, look, look how fast that shit loads. And this is what you're going to see with your PlayStation 5 and your Xbox Scarlet. This kind of a speed. Okay. There. Done. This would be even faster if my... Uh, Epic Games didn't have to uh, connect to a uh, cloud syncing service. Remember, there's two things happening here. It's not just local loading. It's also cloud syncing. If this game didn't have to sync in with the cloud of Epic Games servers, then this would be even faster. <clears throat> but there you go. Real-time ray tracing. Everything is in there. And here I am, dude. It's just uh, it's ridiculously fast. Now... I want everybody to understand a couple of things. Like I said, I didn't just build this computer for for gaming. Yes, I wanted to have the gaming option so I can have smooth gaming on it, on a PC. So I can also have a uh, virtual reality experience. There's two things I wanted. I wanted to have a smooth PC gaming experience with a uh, virtual reality smooth experience as well. Uh, but on top of that, I also wanted to do some other things. I wanted to do some video editing. I wanted to do some music production. I want to get back into music production. Some of you don't even know that I still have my cloud, SoundCloud, Edosis Prometheus. Look it up, Edosis Prometheus on the SoundCloud. And I might uh, post some videos here of some of the music that I create. And then some of the music, the same music that you see here that I create will be available on the SoundCloud. On the SoundCloud. And then if you guys want to purchase it, you can purchase it. Or I'll, you know, we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to sell it, price it yet, but we'll see. Uh, so I want to use it for that reason as well. So there's there's many different reasons why I'm, I'm, I'm building this PC. And of course, I want to be able to upgrade this PC in the future. With a new graphics card, with a new CPU, new motherboard. You know, in this case, it's very easy to take apart, very easy to assemble, very easy to build. Or whatever component in the future you want to put, uh, you can swipe out SSD drives. I can have, I have, I can run four SSD drive on this sucker. That's how insane I am. Four. Currently, I have two, which gives it a, a one terabyte, five hundred gigabytes on each, and I still have two slots open. But I also have a Seagate two terabyte hard drive just for the storage so I can download all these games and all my works uh, that I do. So I carefully uh, produced this computer. I was being very careful the way I chose these components. I sat down, I did my research, and I said to myself, what is it I'm looking for? If you just buy a computer for gaming, then that's all you're going to have. It's just gaming. I wanted to have something that's a uh, variety. To do many different things you know and and that's what i wanted to do i mean as you can see this thing is just super super fast i mean look look how fast that is dude real-time ray tracing there it is i mean it's just it's insane okay so uh just a quick little video i wanted to do uh check out my vlog my longest vlog i did yesterday uh i'm debating what should i do should i uh 
I want to do a live stream today. I don't know if I'm going to do a... I thought about maybe Final Fantasy VIII. Because uh, you guys... Might want to check that out because Final Fantasy VIII live stream. I thought about doing that because it's a very special game for me, and it's a remastered Final Fantasy VIII. Or we just simply might do a truck driver and do a truck driver or bus simulator. But I don't know yet. I'll keep you guys posted. But I'm thinking about doing a live stream today, some sort of a live stream. As far as FIFA 20, guys, FIFA 20 doesn't work. I tried it. Uh, EA is having some issues with a FIFA 20 on a PC, so I don't know what the deal is. Um, I might have to try it again. But anyway, I thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you soon.